So how do you, if, if someone's having problems, which is very common, if someone's struggling with the mindset and being able to move forward, take action, get past the fear, how do you recommend they fix that? Yeah, a couple of things. Um, number one, if you have the wherewithal to do it, hiring a coach by far is the simplest solution, right? Because they're going to hold you accountable. They're going to push you to do things. And they're going to help you even figure out what those things are that you don't even realize might be your fears, right? So that's, and I've hired coaches in every area of my life and continue to do and always will. Um, beyond that, the first thing, and just giving you a nugget of something that's come to me more recently regarding this is facing your fears and realizing uh, what I've started to experience recently is when I'm asking questions or I'm wondering or pondering something, the action that I need to take, I am noticing is becoming the first thought that I have. Behind that first thought, if you delay and don't take action, are all the reasons why it won't work. All the fears start creeping in. All the negative language that you've had your whole life starts talking to you, right? So I'm starting to recognize more recently than ever before that if you just act immediately in the face of your fears, you're already going to start down. And, and in that, you're rewiring your brain. So as you do that, right, it, it could start as simple as you don't want to wake up and your alarm clock goes off, but you have a plan based on your alarm clock going off. Just not hitting snooze today is going to make it better for you to do that tomorrow. But if you wait five seconds, six seconds, you're going to hit snooze because all the negative chatter comes in. I could get up an hour later, et cetera. But relate that to anything that you're afraid to do, I can almost almost guarantee that the first thought you have is the positive one that you should do and it's the one we avoid doing so do your best to do that and whenever you have the opportunity hire a coach that's done what you're trying to do um, that can help you because they're going to eliminate and help eliminate a lot of the fears you have because they're just going to tell you something you're not usually we have a fear of something that we don't know so if they know something you don't it helps eliminate your fear mm -hmm.